We were like uh, Pichu before in our relationships, and and now we're Pikachu. Wow. Can we be like a Alolan? Like Alolan Raichu? We're not there yet. No. Thank you for coming. Oh. Did you bring multiple resumes? I have like two or three. This is extremely unprofessional. Oops. You got the job. I can't hear you. Yeah, there's like one hair that's Did I like. Keep this on? Yeah, there's like one hair that's like sticking up. There's straight. one hair sticking up. She can hear me. Oh, I can't hear you. <laughs> We were dressed up in costumes, okay? I was Star Fox. She was a <laughs> Miss Marvel Nyan Cat mashup cosplay. And, and we were at a convention, so there was like thousands of people around us. And like, you could see her in like, it was like a needle in a haystack. Could not take my eyes off her the first time I saw her. D headphone, yeah. So we met on Halloween, and I was deep in my phone, planning all the parties. We had like, three different parties we were going to, and I was with a huge group of people, and John wasn't even a part of our group. He just randomly stumbled up and was like, hey, what's up, guys? And I look up, and it was like God shined a light. I'm getting flustered just talking about this. He had his sleeves rolled up, and his arms, <laughs> he knows I'm saying this already. His arms looked so good. I was like, who is this man? I said that, uh, yeah, a little bit. But you're very attractive. You're very attractive. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> we went to a barcade, and uh, we went and played her favorite pinball machine. I'm from the East Coast, and there's like nothing like that over there. It was like the coolest date I've ever been on in my life. I'm not gonna lie. I was really, really nervous to go on this date with him because I, was, I felt like I was starting to like him and I didn't want him to know. I also wanted to feel still like I was in control of the situation just in case he was a jerk or too good to be true. But we ended up having like a really good time. We just like talked for like hours just about all of our favorite things and kind of got into a little bit more like serious talk about like our past relationships and what we expect and it was just nice. He was so easy to talk to and I hated it because I was starting to really like him. I, I came out here and I just wanted to like work. We were gonna be good friends and we're gonna help each other and we're gonna do stuff like that and um, I tried to do that with you. Because we had been kind of like dating for so long and you like Never tried to kiss me. I don't know. I didn't want to like mess things up. It's not that I didn't want it to happen. I think I was just scared of it happening. Like I've been in other like long-term relationships in the past and I felt like I just put up with the person and just found reasons that like things that we had in common but never really felt like I connected with them. And with John it felt so instant and scary and right away and kind of like what they talk about in the movies. Yeah, it, like makes you nervous, right? Yeah. Our biggest fight so far. We're planning on moving. She really wants to move inward towards Los Angeles. And I wanna move like out. <laughs> I wanna move like have like trees and like grass and stuff like that. Cause that's like how I grew up. Guess we're trying to come up with the best points to, to argue, you know? I have depression. So when I'm like really hard on myself or things go really bad, I can spiral pretty quickly. And um, we got in this huge fight and it boiled down to the way we treat each other um, and the balance, the imbalance in a relationship, how it's just work all the time. There's, there's no time for us and no time for me. How could we be happy together? And uh, initially I was just like, fine, just like, forget it, I'm done. Like, we don't need to be together. It's easier for me to be alone. That's what I do when I'm like hurt and I want to solve something quickly. I, I push away. Um, but luckily, John's very patient. And can see through that. And made a pact like, all right, well, if something's wrong or I do something that bothers you, you just, you got to tell me. We have to be honest. And uh, if I was working too much, you know, he'd tell me. Be like, all right, enough. Now it's time to take a break. It, it was like we were loving each other in a different way. Did you do, did you say the fight? The fight? Uh, John! What? Dang it! <laughs> I brought up the big fight that we had in June. They asked how I, we've gotten over it, and I think us just being honest 
and setting harsher boundaries has really, really helped. Even though it was scary, I'll be honest, I knew we were going to figure it out. See? This you know? positive mentality all the time. When I first me met Megan, I didn't even, I didn't even know who she was. I honestly, I didn't really watch YouTube. I didn't even know what the term YouTuber meant. I guess I was just nervous because I would never been in the spotlight before. I've seen the magazine covers in grocery stores where like all this drama happens in Hollywood between actors and stuff like that. Do we, do we try to stay private? Do we not? Do we go public? I guess I changed the way that I presented myself to the public on social media. That, that was just more kid friendly. I think the biggest struggle that uh, John and I go through is separating our day. The life of a YouTuber is 24 seven and I've been doing it for so long and it's, it's not a very stable uh, career choice. You're fighting for relevancy. My work days can sometimes be, you know, 16 hours or I wasn't sleeping at certain times. I would get maybe two hours of sleep and uh, that would really affect our relationship because John would be like, there's no balance. We work all the time, but there's no time to relax. If you relax, you feel guilty and it hasn't been easy. And because we have something so special, it's definitely worth fighting for. Um, and we're, we're figuring it out as we go. I don't know if, if you guys have a word for it. I do. My, me and my, my brother do. We were like, man, if we could ever find that, the true one, it's the golden leopard. It's the golden leopard right there. You know, the unattainable person that matches your personality so perfectly. And, you know, literally a few days after Megan and I were seeing this as becoming a relationship, I was like, Golden Leopard is, is not even the right word. Like, she's a rainbow unicorn, like riding on a rocket ship. It's like you, you search your whole life for this feeling that you read about in fairy tales and you see in movies, but you kind of like come to terms with the fact that it doesn't exist. And I met John in it. I know it's just right. Even though I'm over here in LA and you know, all my family is back on the other coast, I feel like home with you, you know? And I've always felt like an outsider here. Aw, you're my best friend and I love you. Mm. You're my best friend and I love you. <laughs> Twins. Wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> Twins. Same. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked that, comment down below what your favorite part was. Click up here to subscribe and right here to watch more videos. Catch you later. All right, cut. What? <laughs>